How's it going, everybody? RC Poisoning here with another video. Sorry, I have not made a video in a long time. It's been uh, quite the couple weeks to the month process of uh, finishing up my room and painting and putting up the light, which was a should have been a quick process, but it seemed to take all day. But anyway, so I've been kind of relaxing. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about um, RC bodies. I um, I'm going to use... Uh, old body of mine um, actually went on my Savage Flux HP. Um, today I went to my hobby shop and got a new body. Um, so here, hold on, let me get them for you. So this is a Ford F650 body. Now, as you see, the paint is pretty bad. Um, my buddy, the Alex RC Freak, and I personally tried a little bit of a paint. Um, we used a model paint, spray paint, instead of RC paint like this stuff right here. Stick with this. We were experimenting to see if the paint would stick, and obviously, as you can tell on the body, it did not stick. So whenever you're getting an RC body, make sure it says RC car paint. Only stick with that. There's this brand, and there's another brand. I can't figure out which brand it was. But make sure when you're out in the market for RC body and paint, it says RC car paint. Um, this is, uh, I think this is a silver. Yeah, it's a silver. India silver. Weird name. Lacquer racing finish paint. Um, I actually bought a whole bunch of paints. Um, they were closing out on them. And so the paint was like three bucks, which is a pretty good deal because normally paints like this come around about four fifty, almost five, depending on where you go. Pretty expensive for the RC paint. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, anyway, that is the old body. Um, move this out of the way. So, I officially picked up. Um, I'm not, nothing against Chevy or anything, or, you know, Dodge or anything. But I personally like the Ford bodies. Um, this is a Ford F-150 body. Um, the HPI number is 7196. For if anyone ever wanted to know. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to unpackage this. I'm going to show you guys the little basics of how to paint a RC body. I'm not going to show you the painting process because that would, it just takes too long and it's just a matter of patience and finning all paint and then letting it dry. Paint and then let it dry. So it's a long process. If you want it to turn out right, you take a good amount of time to make, make sure that everything is painted. You know, and you're not just half ass and everything, because that's when you get the little runs, or you'll miss a spot, and your body will turn out ugly. I did a 2008 F250 body, and I'll tell you, that thing was about as realistic as the RC body could get. That thing turned out great, um, and then it ended up having a big crack, so I had to go in the garbage. I wish I had a photo for you guys, or just the RC body in general to show you guys, but I do not. It went in the dumpster. Um, haha, <laughs> you guys were cracking up. Huh, Ford going in the trash, what's new? But anyway, so I do not have the truck. It's up and this is kind of like my little temporary RC area. Um, and for now, because um, I feel bad, I haven't done a video for you guys. And I really appreciate you guys like, subscribe. You know, it really it means a lot to me. Um, something I didn't think out would, you know, turn out to be okay channels. Actually, turned out pretty good. The more videos, I obviously, the more subscribers I'm going to get. So, um... The RC is actually up in my closet, um, so I'm just going to kind of show you this. It's not kind of showable right now. I kind of got an accident uh, a while back. Why did they tape that to the Lex, or staple that to the Lexan, really? Come on, HVI. You know, it's a part you're not going to use. They have to make it difficult. So, all right, let's get it on out. I'm going to show you a little basics, pretty much, and that's about it. <coughs> So this is a sticker decals. It's been in better shape, obviously. But these are the sticker decals that comes with. Um, I probably won't use them. So anyway, that's what they look like. Just kind of variety of little miscellaneous things. You do, you know, silver grill. Or you do black grill if you want. or Just little stuff you could add on, pretty much. So this is what you're really in for. And then, obviously, just junk. But these are the window decal stickers. So whenever you're, you paint a RC body, you apply these on the insides of the body. So right here, the windshield, 
obviously the back right here. You put these little stickers in there so it, you don't get paint on your windows unless you want to do a paint scheme with tinted windows and you're painting RC body black. Then go for it, but sometimes it looks a little tacky. You know, you'll... Oh, there's a decal that obviously came off. What can I say? The body was 25 bucks, Pretty cheap. Like I said, I'm not going to use these stickers anyway. So anyway, so these little stickers will go in there and it'll protect you you know your windows and stuff if you want to leave your windows clear um but some people like their windows tinted i kind of like the windows tinted but not black black like you want to be able to see it just a little bit but it'll have that nice appearance so anyway so there's like a, a little bit of a plastic um i i wish i would show you guys but i'm not going to pull off there's a little pla a coated plastic uh like saran wrap uh, protecting it from overspray so you're like well, how do you keep, you know, for the people that do not know, how do you keep the body from not getting paint on the outside? There's, like, little plastic they pull off after you get done. And so, you pretty much, whenever you're doing the RC's body, you kind of want to think of a paint scheme before you, okay, I got the body, okay, I'm going to paint it black. Add a little characteristics to it, you know, maybe a little bit of, you know, if you want to do flames or some kind of symbol on the hood or, you know, just kind of think about it. I haven't really thought about, uh, you know, paint job I want to do right now um although I will say silver and black look great black and lime green look great um red like a metallic red with black look good um you want to do bumblebee you can do black and yellow um but I'm I don't know exactly what I might do I might do black and silver you know um I might do silver down here and then black and then the tailgate you know the bed silver you know I don't know yet you know I might do these little marks up here silver like i said i don't know yet but this is just a little video to show you guys so pretty much <clears throat> what you do you go to your rc shop and you pick up a body redeemer and a body scissors don't use regular scissors the body scissors for rc bodies have a little bit of a curve to them so they're really good for um, getting in spots like this area right here the wheel areas is really you know, if you use a pair of scissors, it's going to be like a straight, and then cut straight, and it'll just look like a more of a, you know, straight cuts more than just a round, perfect round. So anyway, so whenever you're doing the RC body, you want to make sure you just cut out this, and, um, and get that all out of the way. And then, when you're mounting it, when you're mounting RC body, <clears throat> line it up perfectly to the truck, so make sure it's not like crooked or whatever, so kind of look at it a little bit, make sure it's nice and straight. And so, kind of like on this RC body here, sorry, I got two bodies here. I've already, I lined it up on my truck, and I said, okay, with a marker, permanent, like a Sharpie marker, you can mark on the the body where it'd be, so like in this one, and um, you would mark where the holes would be. Now, sometimes, like right now, especially right here, they have these little marks right here, that's where the body should sit, the body post, but... That all depends on which vehicle it's going on. Like this is for HPI. You could put it on, you know, a Traxxas Slash or whatever. So it all depends on how the body will line up with the body post. So anyway, so like I said, in this video, I kind of lined it up. Put a little Sharpie marker on there on these holes. And then when I, before I painted it, I drilled the holes with this. This is a body redeemer. This is about as junky as a body redeemer you could get um it worked this was my starter um duratrax has a really nice one out um it's a kit or you could buy just a body redeemer but it has a nice rubber handle to it and it's about as sharp as it gets this is just a you know generic body redeemer and like i said i wish i had the scissors i don't know where they're at right now um but it's just those are okay but there's better quality out there so like i said again Make sure you come up with a paint scheme. You know, make your body look good. You put all that time in your RC. Why not make the body look flashy instead of just a flat color? Um, add a little characteristics, like like I was saying. Um, do what you got to do to make your body look good. But like I said, in this one, this is Alex RC's Freaks Bodies. Actually, um, I borrowed it for because my other one had a little accident, but. Uh, he did like the orange, it's like a burnt orange with gray, and like I said, this was not RC body paint, that's why it did not stick. Um, it looked good when it was done though, and it lasted maybe two hours. But like I said, I wish I had my flux down here, but 
Alex RC Freak and I, we went out to a school playground at night. That was a dumb idea. And um, we were out there riding around and we collided with each other. His X Max vs. Savage Flux said didn't end too well. I bought uh, my shock shaft came flying off and then um, my steering bell crank came off. So I don't want to show it right now because it's not presentable. So. <clears throat> Anyway, and then another thing is to do, and whenever you want to do RC body, and you're looking for a paint scheme, some people mask it off with um, like painters tape or whatever. But there's another thing out there that's called liquid masking film. It's awesome. It works great. This is seven seventy five. They're kind of kind of you know pricey, but anyway, you can get a little paintbrush, and then you know, if you say you wanted to two tone it, paintbrush will work great. You know, to just Put this on the inside, obviously, is when you're, whenever you're doing liquid masking, you know, dip it in there and kind of, you know, put it on the inside. Let it dry. Put another coat on. Thicker sometimes is better than if it's too thin, it just, you like pick and then scrape. Pick and then scrape instead of just pulling it off like a tape would do. So just, you know, two to three layers, good. Nothing more than that. Sometimes two is just works, work, you know, great. Another thing is, um... Whenever you're wanting to cut out little things and your body scissors don't work, number two, Exacto. This is actual Exacto brand, so it's a nice quality, not just a generic. And then always carry some extra blades. You will need those at times when your blade gets dull. You want to make sure you have a nice sharp blade whenever you're doing RCs. Um, so after you pick out your colors and whatever you want to do, the, now comes to the prep. So, whenever you're doing this, make sure you have these in here. If you let's say you want your windows blacked out, whatever. And um, sometimes it's good to do the inside of these bodies with a really fine steel wool. I think the finest is zero 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 zero. I think it's a four zeros. It's the finest steel wool in there. You know, scuff it up a little bit. It'll help the paint stick a little bit better. Um, and then after that, make sure you blow it out really nice. Wipe it out with a wet rag. Make sure it's really dry. When so when you go to paint it, you don't have any water in the body because then you'll have a little bit of run. But sometimes scuffing it up makes the uh, paint get a little bite, so it bites to the plastic a little better. Um, and then, like I said, make sure it's all clean. And then you want to do your light coat first. So whatever your color is, <coughs> excuse me, if it's two toned or whatever, do your first color. I said really light mist when you're doing it. Don't, you know, just like a big old cloud. You don't want to do that. It'll make your RC body look good or crappy, I should say. So distance is a key thing. Really light coat. Let it dry. Do not let it dry for two minutes. That's not long enough. Let it dry for a good 30 minutes, you know, sometimes maybe 40 minutes. Make sure it's nice and dry. Add your second coat. Don't add too many coats of paint. Because then it'll just, it'll make your body look crappy and then sometimes the paint will fall off. But that's pretty much the basics for painting an RC body. And then like I said, when you get done, like I said, all this will be already off. And you'll have this already pre-cut up. Make sure it's nice and clean, scuffed, cleaned out. And then you, like I said, paint. And then when you're all done, you'll peel this plastic off and it'll look good on your RC. Until you go out and bash and you get scratches. whoop de doo That's part of the hobby. It's not going to, you know... It's not going to stay scratch free. But anyway, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Like, subscribe. It means a lot to me. I know I am just don't have very many videos. Like I said, it's been kind of rough lately. Um, I said, I've been doing the RCN for, since I was 16, so I'm not like a genius on everything. But I've done my fair share of bodies, and Alex RC Freak has helped me with some tips and stuff. How to, you know, add a little character to your body and whatnot so um if you guys not have seen his youtube it's rc alex rc freak just search it on youtube um he really does appreciate all the videos that he uh gets and uh puts on youtube for you guys to watch um he takes his rc in serious so if you have questions and you don't know don't go off the guy from the hobby shop and sometimes he'll get you know, he'll put his advice in and then you're walking out spending two hundred dollars on something you probably really didn't need. So, um, like I said, if you have a question, um, I know I do know that he's helped a guy um, with his X Max, and the guys really appreciated that. And that guy's always 
um, messaging Alex, and Alex, I found out today, I was over at his house, pretty much helped that guy that didn't know much about the X-Max, <clears throat> I would say. He might have known a little bit, but he helped that, pretty much Alex helped that guy build that X-Max. I don't know what was the story on it before, but um, he pretty much helped him go, and, and then the guy sent him a video, a running video, first running video after getting everything put back together. So, like I said, if you have questions, ask him. Or, you know, you could go to your local hobby shop. Um, but I do know Alex has done RC in for a while, and he has a crap load of RCs. And might be able to help you guys out if you have just a general question. But anyway, guys, I am going to fix my Savage Flux HP. I'm going to put a new shock shaft on it. I'm going to put a steering bell crank, and then I'll do a review on it. I do have a couple upgrades here and there on it. So I do apologize. This video is kind of long. But I do have some upgrades on it, and I am ready to show you guys, but I just don't want to show it right now because, you know, the shock shaft's busted, and this looks like it's just got an accident. So, anyway, I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Peace.